guys, we are going to be calling Brandon Patterson by okay. video deposition designations at oh. this point. Okay. Um, and I just wanted to alert the court how we've handled the exhibits amongst the parties we've met and conferred. Um, the parties have agreed that we have no objections to the Eastern Columbia Building surveillance videos that have been authenticated by Mr. Brandon Patterson. Okay. Um, what, in his deposition. You, okay, do you, what exhibit numbers are they? <laughs> or who, whose exhibits are they and what? Well, so we have no objection to all, I think there's 87 okay. currently. So in the interest of time for the jury and the court and everyone here, um, because there are 87, we've agreed to show a selected smaller set, which had been identified by both parties. And um, both parties are taking on the responsibility of introducing and playing each exhibit for the jury. Okay. With your honor's permission. So since Mr. Depp is up now um, in his case in chief. We are going to be playing the video deposition of Mr. Patterson. We will pause the video. Um, and then when one of Ms. Hurd's exhibits comes up. No, no, or, I'm, I'm sorry. The deposition, the person, it, just one time. When that deposition, we're just testimonies we once. We understand that. Oh, you, you're doing, then you're going to pause right now and then you're going to do it? I'm just confused. I'm sorry, Your Honor, let me be a little bit more clear. We're going to pause the video deposition uh -huh. of, of Mr. Patterson okay. to allow Ms. Hurd's counsel to publish okay. the exhibit, which is also okay. a video, All right. <laughs> surveillance video. I know, it's confusing. Okay. It's going to be a little difficult, okay. <laughs> right, so we ask that the court perhaps um, remove the publishing from Mr. Depp's counsel's table and allow Ms. Hurd's counsel to publish that exhibit, which is a surveillance video, and play that. Okay. Each, each side has taken responsibility okay. of the clips that we they would that. like to play. Yeah. If that but makes how, sense. But how many times is this going to happen? <laughs> how many do you have? We have, um, we have six, Your Honor. You have six. Okay. So you'll pause it when he, when the witness is watching the video. We're going to watch the video. Okay. All right. And how long is this video? I believe the entire deposition is about an hour, one hour and forty eight minutes. One hour and forty eight minutes. And okay. um, with the exhibits, I anticipate it might take us till the end of the day. Okay. Um, but I no no promises that, about that. That's fine. Um, I still need the exhibit numbers. Okay. If we could Would you like to read them into? So I can read them. I can read that that's them. fine. If you just if you would uh, precursor with whose exhibit it is. So I have I have two lists. So I just want to make okay, sure I get it. Okay, sure. Uh, Go ahead. All right. So I'll give you our, I'll give you ours. Okay. Um, it would be six seventy. Six seventy. Six seventy one. Six seventy one. Six seventy two. Six seventy two. Six seventy three. Six seventy three. I'm sorry, I'm going out of order here. That six six six. That's okay. 666. 680. 680. 681. 681. 682. 682. 683. 683. 684. Okay. 685. 686. 687. Okay. 688. 668. 690. 691, 692-693-693-694-695-696-725-795-743-745-746-747-748-749 746, 744, 750, 751, 752, 753, 755, 780 G, 780 R, 780 X, 789 A, 789B, 789G, 
789H, 789L, 789N, 789R, 974 and I believe we had 1041 which I think was the what actually came in from your uh, today the the um, the plans for the ECB I think that's the same thing but it was 1041 and I'm not sure if you're objecting to that no, no so 1041 <laughs> okay just want to all make right sure. so you're entering all of those into evidence and there's no objection correct well your honor I just want to confirm one thing with counsel sure um, May I confirm? Sure. And that's sure. Um, this doesn't include the public meetings that you're in the kitchen. Right. So just to confirm. It, I'm confirmed. Okay. Yes. As long as they're all Eastern Columbia surveillance videos, Your Honor, we have no objections. Okay. Which they are. Which they are. So they're all entered except into for the, Except for the plan, which was that one I just right. talked about. Yes. Okay. So they're, those are all entered into evidence then. All right. And yes, ma'am, yours. And Your Honor, just short circuit this <laughs> for the court. Um, our Eastern Columbia building surveillance videos are um, exhibit numbers 250 through 336. All right, so exhibits 250 through 336. That's no correct. objection to those exhibits, correct? Okay, so uh, plaintiff's exhibits 250 through 336 are entered into evidence. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, would, would Your Honor like to know the 10 exhibits that we were going to be playing for the jury? No, that's okay. okay. I, they're all in evidence. That's all I needed okay. to know. We don't Thank need you, to pull them up, so you're going to handle okay. that. Yes. All right. The only thing about this is there's going to be duplicates. I don't know whether we want to try to sort that through. They're in evidence, so okay. that's... that's okay. it's been I'm not going to ring that bell. That's right. <laughs> Okay, uh, could you put the big TV up though before we get the jury back in? Just since it's gonna be a deposition with testimony, we're gonna go ahead and put the big TV up, so. If it works. <laughs> could you speak a little louder? I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought the deposition video came through the other screen. I was just. I think it comes through here too. Yeah. Oh, it does. Okay. Great. Yeah. We, we, we'll, when you have a remote witness, the remote witness will stay up there. Right. And then you can use those screens as well. But when you're using deposition, we can still see it over okay. here. Okay. Fantastic. Thank we'll you. We'll just publish it to the big screen. If you want to set up before the jury comes out, just to make sure you have the person. Let's just make sure it's all working before we get the jury. And this, oh, you didn't put it on there. Okay. All right, it seems like it's all working. Okay. No, though, that's fine. All right, are we ready for the jury then? Okay. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. All right, your next witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, plaintiffs call Brandon Patterson. He is the corporate designee of the Eastern Columbia Building by deposition designations. All right. Patterson. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first one that we have of, of, of a few um, where they, they already have been uh, deposed. Uh, and so you're going to see them on a recording, okay? No 
the volume. <laughs> Do you have an audio connection attached to? Try it one more time. Could you push play one more time? General manager. Can you turn it up? For what? Uh, if you could please state your name and address for the record. Sure, Brandon Patterson, 849 South Broadway, Los Angeles, California, 90014. And if you could please state your occupation. General manager. For what? Uh, I am the general manager for the Eastern Columbia HOA in Los Angeles. And how long have you been in that position? Uh, I've been here at the building six years. Okay. Were you there in 2016? Yes. Um, and are you here under a subpoena as the corporate designee for action property management? Yes. Okay, and if you could please pull up exhibit one and just scroll to page 15 of the PDF, please. Does this look like a copy of the, of the subpoena that you received? Um, yes. Is it okay if I call your building ECB? Is yes. It uh, is it your understanding that ECB has produced these three categories of documents and films? Yes. Can please go to exhibit two and scroll to page eight. And does this look like the topics of the of the deposition of a subpoena for testimony? Okay. Um, is it your understanding that uh, you're the most knowledgeable person on these topics? I am the most knowledgeable within action property management as it relates to these items. Are you responsible for, for managing any of the records or managing, preserving any of the records and videos at, at uh, action property management? Uh, specifically as it relates to Eastern Columbia, um, this is the only property and building for action that I manage um, so action as a whole I, I can't speak to that but as as for ECB yes thanks and this whole this whole deposition I'll be just referring to uh, ECB related to action property management <clears throat> um, what was your role in, in locating the videos responsive to the subpoena <clears throat> to the to the subpoena uh, the videos had been saved um, from the original case. Um, I don't recall the exact year that was. I think this is number four now. Um, so I provided the video that was requested um, that had been saved as the only videos um, that were that were requested and saved. And um, who, who saved them? Was that you or, or someone at action property management um i had initially worked on saving them when i received the first list and i guess i'm i'm i don't know if you're referring to the first set of videos that was ever requested or subsequent subpoenas i guess as this refers to that were already saved and i just transferred the already saved documents so we'll get into into more details. Um, but when was the first time you saved um, security footage relating to ACB in response to a subpoena? Like I said, I don't recall the exact year. Um, it was the first case um, between Depp and Heard um, as a response to subpoenas that we had received from both parties. Uh, and what, what was your role in preserving those videos from, from that first time until now? Can you expand on what you mean by preserving? Sure. D did, uh, 
were, were these videos kept securely in the same format at yes. UC? And were you responsible for making sure that they were kept securely and in the same format at ECB? Yes. Um, how many cameras are there at ECB in, in 2016? <clears throat> um. I don't recall the exact number. We've since switched out the entire system um, and expanded on it. Um, I believe we doubled the cameras, um, which we currently have 40, 44. So I would be speculating, but I think it's probably around 20, 22 or so. And where, where in 2016 were the cameras positioned? Uh, throughout the common areas. And did, did ECB take them as a matter of course, sort of all day, 24 hours a day? Uh, the recordings were 24 seven. Um, the concierge staff um, periodically does review them um, just as part of their daily duties. Uh, but the video footage is recorded onto a DVR um, in a Back then, I believe it was like a 20 day period before it was written over. Is it correct that you're not represented by an attorney? I am not. Uh, did you review any documents or videos before the deposition? I did not. Have you ever communicated with Mr. Depp's former attorney, Mr. Waldman? Uh, yes. And did Mr. Waldman do you know if he drafted a declaration for you in 2016? Yes. yes. Is Action Property Management, I believe you said this earlier, is, is it the property management company for ECB? Yes. Is it your understanding that in 2016, DEP owned the top floor penthouses in, in ECB? Penthouses one through five? Yes. And are you aware of whether Amber Heard was a resident at ECB in, in 2016? Yes. How many times have you seen Amber Heard personally? Um, maybe, I mean, I would be guessing, my best guess would be maybe half a dozen to a dozen times. Do you remember when those times were? Like what year? Um, I don't recall the exact year, but likely 2016. Um, so moving to May 21st of 2016, uh, uh, are you aware that officers were called to the penthouse of ECB on that day? Yes, I am aware. Were you there the day that the officers were called to ECB in May of 2016? I was not at the building when officers were called. Do you have any firsthand knowledge of, of, of uh, why the officers were called on May 21st, 2016? Firsthand, no, I do not. Did you see Amber at all on May 21st? Uh, not that I recall. Did you see Amber on May 22nd, 2016? Uh, not that I recall. Did you see Amber on May 23rd, 2016? Um, the timeline is 2016. I, I don't recall the specifics of those dates specifically. Can you say, can you testify to whether you, you saw Amber Heard at all the week of May 21st, 2016, personally? Uh, not, I, I don't recall the dates now. Did you personally interact with Mr. Depp at ECB in 2016? No, I never did. Have you seen Mr. Depp on video footage in 2016? Yes. Could you please bring up um, Exhibit 3, please? How would you describe Mr. Depp's behavior in that video? I would describe it as animated. And do you have any in the times that you've seen Mr. Depp at ECB, did you ever observe Mr. Depp in an animated manner like you saw in the video? 
I do recall a video of Mr. Depp in the elevator, um, I guess, in an animated state. And was that in 2016? Yes. And do you have any familiarity with, um, have you ever seen Mr. Depp appear angry in the times you've seen him at ECB? I wouldn't say angry, I, I use the term animated. And what does the term animated mean to you? What I saw in the video. When were you first, Mr. Patterson, when were you first contacted for video footage after the May 21st police call to the building? I don't ex recall the exact time frame. Do you remember who contacted you uh, about the May 2016 video footage? Who first contacted you? Uh, I do not recall. You know who selected what copy to preserve and what copies what to preserve? Uh, the attorneys from both sides uh, submitted a list of video times and dates to be preserved. And do you remember uh, what times and dates those were, roughly? Uh, I, I, I don't have a, a time frame now. Do you have a rough time frame of what, what the videos that were preserved, what times those cover? Um, my rough le recollection is that May 2016 time frame. Was it after the May 21st incident, that time frame? Yes. Um, and do you know what role Mr. Depp's law uh, lawyers played in the selection process? The attorneys came to uh, the office here, uh, set up um, a viewing area, um, reviewed video footage, took notes based on that review um, and those dates and times were provided to retrieve the video and save. And do you remember which attorneys came, either their names or who they were, to came to review the footage? Uh, I don't recall. There's attorneys from both sides that came very close together, and I don't recall uh, who would, who or what side they were on. And was all of the footage that they selected preserved? Yes. And were all of those videos that were preserved taken in the ordinary course of ECB's <laughs> business operations? Can you rephrase that? Sure. It's 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 ordinary, is it not, for ECB to have these cameras rolling, and the, the videos that were, were preserved were from those cameras that were rolling in the ordinary course of business. Yes, correct. And do you know how many video clips um, ECB preserved pursuant to the the requests of firm attorneys? Uh, I don't recall the exact number. It was whatever was on the subpoena. We provided exactly what was on there. Does the number 87 ring a bell? For Maybe how many yes. Videos? Yes. Uh, and, and do you know where the videos were maintained from 2016 until today? Uh, they were on a, uh, a portable drive here in my office. At ECB? Yes. And uh, how are they maintained? It was on a portable hard drive. And as far as you know, are the, that is, are, is that in the same condition that it was in 2016? To my knowledge, yes. And uh, we're were the 87 videos preserved on three DVD discs or in some other format? So through the subpoenas there, the videos were provided 
um, to the different teams. Um, I vaguely remember CDs. Um, they weren't stored on CDs for purposes here. Um, I just have the, the portable hard drive. Are there any more video footage other than those 87 clips that has been preserved? No. And what happened to any other video footage that was not preserved? Like I had mentioned earlier, the DVR has a capacity of so many days and it rewrites over itself. And um, just for clarity, how did, I just wanna make it clear, how did you decide what May 2016 video to preserve? The only videos that were preserved were the ones called out via the subpoena by the various uh, law firms or the two law firms. And do you know why there's no footage from May 23rd, 2016? I do not. Uh, and you mentioned that uh, both sides pr requested preservation of the video footage. Is that, is that right? Yes, correct. Um, is it your understanding that the press at some point became interested in, in getting statements from ECB relating to the May 21st incident? Yes. Uh, did the press ask ECB or its employees for, for, for statements? Yes. And uh, what's the policy of APM or ECB with respect to press statements about residents? The policy is that we do not give statements to press. And did Amber ever ask you about that? Yes, she did. In 2016, uh, do you know if, if Rocky Pennington and Josh Drew lived in one of the penthouses at ECB? Yes. And did you ever see Rocky with Amber? Yes. If we could pull up exhibit four, please. Uh, Mr. Patterson, does this refresh your recollection about which penthouse uh, Rocky P Pennington lived in? Yes. Um, Mr. Mr. Uh, Patter Patterson, I'd like to go to the video footage now and go through some video footage. Um, and let's start with exhibit five, please. Uh, in particular, around timestamp 18, 55, 19. Okay. All right, we'll do that.
Okay. Mr. Patterson, do you recognize this this area? Yes. Um, and where is it? This is the mezzanine vestibule between the building and the parking garage. And do you know if you or someone else at ECB was responsible for pulling this security footage and keeping it at ECB? I did pull some video early on. Um, however, the task was very overwhelming and took away from my daily duties. Um, so the task was uh, sent off to an outside party uh, to pull all the videos based on the subpoena list. And what was the outside party's name? I, I don't recall offhand. But it, was it at was it at the direction of of you or ACB? Yes. Um, to assist you with time, or, or is that why? Yes, I I did not have the time to go through all of the video footage to record it. Sure. Do do, do the ACB video cameras have time and date stamps as a matter of course? Yes. And. In your experience, are those time and date stamps relatively accurate? Relatively accurate, yes. And did you recognize the men in that exhibit? Can you replay it, please? Sure. And while we're waiting for the men um, to appear, uh, how would you describe the, the quality of the, this video, these videos? Compared to our new updated cameras, um, not as clear. And can, can you be more specific about not clear? Would you consider these to be grainy? I would say this video here in the pause state does appear to be somewhat grainy. And does it appear to be just a little bit blurry? Yes, this video as I see it now looks a little blurry. And did you recognize the men in this video clip? Yes, I, I do recognize Mr. Depp. Um, the first gentleman looks familiar. I can't place him at the moment. Um, and do you have any reason to believe that that, that the date and timestamp are not accurate? It does seem consistent with the timestamping um, of the video. So unless it was somehow altered, um, I would say it appears to be accurate. And the video camera that, that you preserved in your office at ECB since 2016 has not been altered. Is that correct? Correct. Let's move to exhibit six, please. You recognize where this is? Yes. And where is it? This is the uh, mezzanine level again. Um, vestibule, the mail room is directly behind it. Uh, leading to the elevator vestibule. And that, does that look like it accur accurately portrays the scene? This shot accurately depicts the area, correct. And do you recognize those men? As I previously stated, I do recognize uh, Mr. Depp. The other ones I do not. And did the date and time stamp look uh, accurate? Yes. Um, if we could please go to exhibit seven. All right. Thank you.
Maybe switch, switch back. back. Okay. Um, and do you recognize uh, where this is, Mr. Patterson? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. And does that look like a, a clip from um, the surveillance video in the elevator at ECB? Yes. And does it accurately portray the scene? When you, I, I, I don't know what you mean by scene. Does, does it look like ECB, like the elevator at ECB? Yes. And is this, is the quality of this a little bit grainy as well? As it's displayed right now, yes. Um, and do the, time, the date and timestamps look accurate like ECB keeps in the regular course of business? Yes. And um, could we please play the video so we can see who's getting on? And do you recognize those people getting on the elevator, Mr. Patterson? Yes, I do recognize Mr. Depp. And uh, is smoking permitted on elevators at ECB? No, it's not. Let's move to exhibit eight, please. Do you recognize this, this uh, as ECB video footage? Yes. And do you recognize the men on the elevator? As I previously mentioned, uh, Mr. Dad told me. And um, do those date and timestamps look accurate? Yes. How would you describe Mr. Depp's movements on this elevator? Uh, I'll use the description animated again. Is, is he also swaying from side to side? Does this footage generally look like the footage that, that you preserved from 2016? Yes. Let's move to exhibit. And do you recognize this area? Yes. What is what what is it? Uh, this is the same shot that was previously shown uh, the mezzanine vestibule. And is it shot from one of the ECB surveillance cameras? Yes. And does this look like one of the ones that was preserved since 2016? Yes. Um, and do the date and time stamps look accurate as far as you know? Yes. Um, and were you responsible for pulling this security footage generally? Generally, yes. And do you recognize the people in, the, in that video? Excuse me. Uh, I do recognize Mr. Depp. And what's Mr. Depp holding? It appears to be a jacket. And how would you describe how he's holding it? 
with his left hand. And if we could please move to exhibit 11. And do you recognize this as, as ECB surveillance footage? Yes. And where was that footage taken? Uh, this is back in the mezzanine vestibule uh, between the building and the garage. The last part, vestibule what? Between the building and the garage. And was this one of the videos that was preserved since 2016 by ECB? I don't recall this specific clip, but yes, this, this is video that was preserved. And did the date and time stamps look accurate? like they would be on ECP footage? Action yes. for next. Do you recognize those people? Uh, I rec recognize Mr. Depp. And does Mr. Depp appear to be leaving the building? That would be the pathway from the building into the garage. And does this look like tr uh, true and accurate footage from the ECB video surveillance preserved since 2016? Yes. Moving right along to exhibit 12, please. And where is this uh, video, Mr. Patterson? Uh, this video is the call box at the lobby entrance on Broadway. And do you recognize that as security footage from one of the ECB uh, surveillance cameras that's been preserved since 2016? Yes. And does the, the date and time stamp look accurate to you? Yes. And move to exhibit 13, please. And do you recognize Uh, where this is? Yes. Where? Uh, this is in the main lobby of the building. And does that look like a surveillance clip from one of the ECB surveillance cameras that's been preserved since 2016? Yes. And uh, it says May 21st, 2016 at 2053. Does that look like an accurate date and time stamp from the ECB footage? Yes. And that looks like a true and accurate copy of the surveillance has been preserved? Yes. Moving to exhibit 14, please. You recognize this clip? Yes. 
And it, does it look like it's from one of ECB's security footage cameras that's been preserved since 2016? Yes. And where was this footage taken? Uh, this is the shot of the front desk. And would you agree that the footage is also a little bit grainy? As it is displayed now, yes. Um, and do the t date and timestamps look accurate um, to you? Yes. And do you recognize this as uh, surveillance footage from one of the ECB cameras that's been preserved since 2016? Yes. Um, do you recognize either of the officers? I recognize them as officers. Um, and does the date and time stamp look accurate as far as you know? Yes. Move to exhibit 16, please. Does this also appear to be a um, ACB surveillance camera footage? Yes. And do you recognize the per that person who just left the elevator? I do not. Um, and does this generally appear to be one of the ones that have been preserved since 2016 at ECB? Yes. And as far as you know, does the date and time stamp look accurate? Yes. And for all of these clips that you've seen, they look, they, do they appear to you to be true and accurate copies of the footage that have been preserved? These seem very grainy and slow to me um, from what I remember. But this, these are taken from Eastern Columbia video cameras during this time. And preserved since that time at ECB? Correct. And they were preserved in the same condition? Yes. Um, can we please pull up exhibit 17? And do you recognize this as a clip uh, from one of the ECB surveillance cameras that's been preserved since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, is the date and time stamp accurate? Yes. And does that accurately portray the, the elevator scene at ECB? Yes. Um, and can we move to uh, exhibit 18, please? But do you recognize this is ECB uh, security footage that's been preserved at ECB since 2016? Yes. And it looks like an accurate uh, copy of what was preserved as far as you know? As far as I know, yes. And the date and timestamp, as far as you know, look accurate? Yes. Please move to exhibit 19. And Mr. Patterson, do you know whether or not any of these uh, timestamps are a few seconds off here or there or not? I do believe there uh, is a few second time discrepancy. And do you know what? Do you know why there would be a few second time discrepancy, or? I don't know the reason behind it now. Okay. Um, and um, did you recognize that video clip as one of the videos that has been preserved at ECB since 2016? Yes. And and does that appear to be an accurate copy of one of the surveillance copies that have been preserved? Yes. And as far as you know, that the date and timestamp is, is reasonably accurate, you know, with a couple seconds uh, margin? Yes. And please move to exhibit 20. And do you recognize this as one of the videos that have been uh, taken at ECB, one of by a surveillance camera at ECB? Yes. And is the, are these one of the videos that have been preserved by ECB uh, since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, 
uh, within a, a few seconds. Is that date and time stamp accurate? As far as I know, yes. And do those appear to be two officers leaving the leaving ECB? Yes. And move to Exhibit 21, please. Do you recognize where this is? Yes. And, and what does it look like to you? Uh, this is the same shot from the kiosk camera outside of the lobby on Broadway. Is it shot from one of the surveillance cameras at ECB? Yes. And does that appear to be one of the clips that's, that uh, has been preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, is the date and time stamp accurate as far as you know? Yes. Exhibit 22. Can we move to that, please? And does this appear to be, uh, this clip appear to be taken from one of the ECB security cameras? Yes. And which camera? Uh, this is the lobby, one of the lobby cameras. And does this appear to be one of the clips that was uh, preserved at ECB since 2016? Yes. Um, and did the, as far as you know, is the date and time stamp uh, accurate? Yes, within a few seconds. And were those two officers walking in in, in this video? Yes, those appear to be two officers. Or does this look like how the lobby, does this look like um, how the lobby looks in the video's surveillance pre preserved uh, by ECB? Yes. Let's move to exhibit 23. Do you, do you recognize this uh, as video footage taken from one of the ECB security cameras? Yes. And does this appear to be one of the clips that's been preserved by ECB uh, since 2016? Yes. Uh, and as far as you know, are the date and time stamps accurate within a few seconds? Yes. And do those appear to be officers talking to the concierge? Yes. And move to exhibit 24, please. And do you recognize this as uh, video footage taken by one of the ECB uh, security cameras? Yes. And was this one of the clips that were, take, were taken by ECB and preserved uh, since 2016? Yes. Um, and and uh, as far as you know, within a few seconds, are the date and time stamps accurate? Yes. Can we please go to exhibit 27? And do you recognize this video? Is one of the videos from the ECB security footage that have been preserved since 2016 by ECB? Yes. Uh, as far as you know, is the date and time stamp accurate within a few seconds? All tracks. Yeah. Uh, and move to 20, exhibit 28, please. Do you recognize this video as one of the ECB surveillance videos? Yes. Uh, and which 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 surveillance video? Which which part of the building? Uh, this is the lobby. Okay. And does this appear to be one of the clips that has been taken and preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, are the date and time stamps accurate within a few seconds? Yes. And um, do those look like two officers in the lobby to you? Yes move to 29. And do you recognize this 
uh, video is taken from one of the ECB security cameras? Yes. Um, and was this one of the clips uh, that have been taken and preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. Um, and as far as you know, is the date and time stamp accurate within a few seconds? Yes. I mean, this appears to be an accurate copy of what was preserved. Yes. And move to exhibit 30, please. And do you recognize this as footage taken from one of the ECB security cameras? Yes. And it does appear to be one of the clips that has been taken and preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. Um, and that appears to be an accurate copy of what was preserved? Yes. And as far as you know, is the date and time stamp accurate within a few seconds? Yes. May we please go to exhibit 30? And do you recognize this as one of the uh, video clips from ECB video surveillance? Uh, yes. And is this the elevator camera? One of, yes. And do you recognize who's on the elevator? Uh, it appears to be Amber. And um, does this look like one of uh, the video uh, clips that have been taken and preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, within a few seconds, is the date and time stamp accurate? Yes. Um, can we please move to exhibit 30? <laughs> and does this appear to be one of the video clips taken from the ECB security footage? Yes. Um, and does this appear to be one of the clips that was taken and preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, are the date and time stamps accurate within a few seconds? Yes. And while we're waiting for someone to appear, do you, do you recognize the person at the front desk, if you can see him? And do you recognize who's walking into the video now? I do recognize that as Amber, i trying to get a, a, face, a facial uh, recognition of the person at the desk. Can you see him now? Yes. And who's that? His name is Cornelius. Do you know why Mr. Harrell and, and Amber would be going around that corner? Uh, the package room is like around the corner. And does this look like one of the video clips that's been preserved and taken by ECB since 2016? Yes. And does the date and time stamp uh, look accurate as within a few seconds as far as you know? Yes. And does this look like an accurate clip um, from the ECB footage? Yes. Um, I'd like to move this uh, in as exhibit 31. Uh, and move to exhibit 
32, please. And do you recognize uh, who's walking through the picture in this video? Yes. Who is it? Amber Heard. And does this look like a video clip uh, taken from one of the ECB surveillance cameras? Yes. And does this look like one of the videos that, that was taken and preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, are the date and time stamps accurate within a few seconds? Yes. Um, I'd like to move to exhibit 33, please. And does this look, look like uh, video footage taken from one of the ECB surveillance cameras? Yes. And does this look, does this look like one of the clips taken and preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, are the date and time stamps accurate within a few seconds? Yes. I'd like to move to admit this as exhibit 33. And do you recognize who's in this video right now? Yes. Who is it? Amber Heard. And where is she? This is the service corridor outside of the package room. Okay, and if we could please rewind the tape a little bit and see who Amber was with. Do you recognize that person? Yes, that's Cornelius. And what's his last name? Powell? And, Arrow? and was he walking out? Where was he, where was he walking out from? The package room. Where is this in ECB? This is on the main level service corridor. And would you agree with me that this footage is also a little bit grainy? Yes. If you could please, I'd like to move to admit exhibit 33. And if we could please move to exhibit 34. And do you recognize this is one of the ECB security camera uh, footage clips? Yes. And this appear to be one of the video footage clips taken and preserved by ECB since 2016? Mm -hmm. Yes. As far as you know, is the date and time stamp accurate within a few seconds? Yes. And do you recognize who's in this video? Uh, it appears to be Amber Heard. Uh, and do you know where this video is? Can you expand on that? Sure. Is it an elevator? In ECB? Yes. Okay. Um, and can we go back to that exhibit, please, just for a minute? And can we go to roughly timestamp 18, 22, 26? Would you agree with me that the video uh, footage here is a little bit grainy? Yes. And does it look a little bit fuzzy to you? Yes. And can we please move to exhibit 35? And does this look like uh, video footage from one of the ECB security cameras? Yes. And does this appear to be one of the clips that was taken and preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, did the date and time stamps look accurate within a few seconds? Yes. If we could please move to timestamp, see, 1841 29. And do you recognize who just walked in the elevator? Uh, it appears to be Amber. I'm not sure who the gentleman is. Does that video appear a little bit grainy to you? As, as it's displayed now. Um, and if we could please move to exhibit 
think we're on 36. And is it, does this appear to be footage from one of the security cameras at ECB? Yes. And who, who, who just walked through the footage? Uh, Amber Herb and a gentleman. And does this appear to be one of the clips that was taken and preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. As far as you know, uh, is the date, stamp, and time reasonably accurate within a few seconds? Yes. And would you agree with me that that also is a little bit grainy in that footage? Yes, as it's displayed now. Um, and if we could please move to exhibit 37. And does this appear to be a video camera from one of ECB's video cameras? Yes. And does this appear to be one of the clips that was taken and preserved by ECB since uh, 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, is the date and time stamp accurate within a few seconds? Yes. And did you recognize who walked through that <coughs> video? Amber Hurt and an unknown gentleman. And is this video also a little bit grainy as it appears? As it appears now, yes. Um, I'd like to move in exhibit 37. And please uh, move to exhibit 38. And does this appear to be a video taken from one of the security cameras at ECB? Yes. And does this appear to be one of the clips that was taken and preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, is the date and time stamp accurate within a, reason, within a few seconds? Yes. Uh, and if we could, let's see. Go to 2256, please, a timestamp wise. And do you recognize who, who's getting on the elevator? I cannot see her face, but it appears to be Amber Heard. Um, I move to admit this is 38, and then we can move to uh, 39, please. Does this look like a true and accurate copy of or surveillance footage from one of the ECB cameras? Yes. And does this look like one of the clips that was taken and preserved in 2016 by ECB? Yes. And when I say by ECB, I, I mean either you or someone under your direction, like the contractor you, you spoke of. Is that your understanding? Yes. Um, and I'd like to move this in as exhibit 38, I'm oh, sorry, 39, please. Um, and if, and do, do you know who is working behind the desk in this video? Yes. And who's that? Uh, Alex Romero. Okay, can we move to uh, exhibit 40, please? And does this appear to be a, clip, a video from one of the ECB security cameras? Yes. And does this appear to be one of the clips that was taken and preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. Uh, and as far as you know, is the date and time stamp accurate within a few seconds? Yes. I'd like to move this in as exhibit 40, please. Um, and if we could go to, to timestamp 21-17-33, please. And if we could move, oh yeah, thanks. And do you recognize who's getting on the elevator? Yes. And who is it? Uh, Amber, Rocky, and her sister, Whitney. And um, would you agree with me that the video footage is a little bit grainy in this clip? 
Yes, as is displayed at the moment. Um, and does that date and time stamp look accurate within a few seconds as far as you know? Yes. And does that appear to be one of the clips that was taken and preserved by ACB since 2016? Yes. I'd like to move to admit that as, as Exhibit 40, please. Uh, and move to, to uh, 41, please. Right, Council, could you pause it for a moment? Let's just go ahead and... All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and take a 15-minute break till 4 o'clock, okay? All right, thank you. Go ahead. Come back at four o'clock then, okay? I have